Well, he was the most wanted man in the country yesterday, and this terrorist suspect wound up in my next guest right in around in his backyard, bombing terrorist suspect Ahmad Rahami, now hospitalized after a wild police shootout. Officers Angel, Pad Angel Padilla and Peter Hammer responded to a call of a man sleeping on the steps of an East Elizabeth Street bar Monday morning in New Jersey. And upon approach, Rahami, he opened fire, injuring the two. One officer has now been released from the hospital. The other is still being monitored by doctors. Witnesses turned amateur uh, witness turned amateur video journalist Derek Poligra and David Ayers caught it all on tape. David, you shot the amazing video that we came in with first. What, what was your reaction to videotaping it? Weren't you worrying about getting shot yourself? Um, no, not really. I mean, we're just in the corner. You know, we really didn't stick anything, uh, hands or anything out. We just had, you know, the camera out to the side. I really wasn't worried about getting shot or anything like that. David, was a shock to hear the reports and then see this terrorist right in your neighborhood? Um, no, it, I wouldn't call it a shock, but um, you kind of know what's going on in the news and stuff like that. So it kind of, I mean, I guess a shock for it in our neighborhood because this kind of stuff doesn't happen around here, but um, not a shock on overall. Now, Derek, I'd like to turn to Derek. You're the manager of Linden Auto Body. Is that close? To, was that close to the uh, scene of the shooting here? Yes. And you were one of the first to catch the terrorist suspect on the stretcher. And we even have a video of Local Channel 7 catching it moments after. What was your reaction to seeing who exactly was, uh, uh, who this was for the first time? What was your reaction? Uh, just, you know, from, from the beginning, I've uh, kind of just been in awe uh, that, you know, we. We finally, uh, you know, the, the police finally were able to catch him.